Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, let's go ahead and get it out of the way, okay? Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I do cool videos all the time. Not regularly, not scheduled, but uh, I do cool videos every now and then. Mostly about scented objects, but I also do vlog-style videos. I also do, uh, when I go on vacation, I do little videos about my vacation or when I travel. Hell, I even do, like, shopping challenges every now and then. There's something on this channel for everyone, and, uh, I guarantee you there's something that you'll like. So go ahead and subscribe. It is free. It is free. And if you do not like anything on this channel, go ahead and unsubscribe. Will not hurt my feelings at all, okay? It really won't. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for, uh, stopping in today. Um, okay. Damn it. Before we go any further, we're gonna have a new drinking game. For every time I say, uh, um, uh, that's the same thing. Any type of, like, pause, take a shot and see how fast you die. Because I went back and rewatched my other video and it was, uh, uh, e, uh, um, like crazy. It was so stupid. It kind of pissed me off. So I'm going to try to keep the uhs and ums to a minimum and keep actual words flowing out of my mouth. Sound good? Cool. Okay. Now, I, I saw something on Instagram a while ago that I thought was pretty neat. It was a dog toy, okay? And if you're not familiar with this little guy, apparently there is some kind of toy inside of a toy. My dogs are looking at me like I'm crazy right now because I'm holding their little baby here. But uh, they love this thing, number one. It had all these little, kind of little brown spiky pieces all around the side of it. And uh, they chewed it off, okay? But this is a two-in-one deal. It's got this little stretchy bungee flower. It's super thick, too. You hear that? Oh, my God. But it's two-in-one. So eventually what they're going to do is they're going to rip the uh, outside here and uh, there's going to be a new one underneath so basically this whole thing is going to like shed its skin it's going to be an armless little fruit cactus situation okay it's going to be pretty cool uh but uh it's by bark co so if you're interested in uh, checking it out for yourself go ahead and look it up it's really cool i've seen this years ago and i just seen it recently so i had to order it for my dogs here you go well, it fell on the floor. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try and keep you updated on that, and we'll see when it peels its skin or when my dogs completely ruin it. Moving on from that. That's right, another soap video, and uh, today I'm just going to get right into it. We're doing Bay Rum. We are doing Duke Cannon Bay Rum. Now, the box is absolutely uh, just ruined from where I bought it at Cracker Barrel, and I guess 15,000 people decided to finger the box, and uh, no pun intended, and, 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 and try to catch a quick smell. And uh, that's, take a drink. That's, uh, damn it. Anyway, Bay Rum. This is another one that I bought it at Cracker Barrel, okay? So it was sitting on a shelf, and I'm sure people, a bunch of people pulled it down off the shelf and just completely destroyed the box to smell it. Not that big of a deal. It's a box. Bay Rum, Duke Cannon Supply Co. It's a big-ass brick of Bay, Bay Rum, too. So let me just get into the actual bar now. I'm going to stop doing all the little stupid things. Citrus musk, cedarwood, island spice. Now, those are a lot of scents and a lot of flavors. Citrus musk with cedarwood, island spice. Um, now, I also paid $8 and some change after tax for this bar of soap. So, you know, less than a dollar 
per ounce isn't that bad considering I, when I was looking the stuff up on Duke Cannon's website, I'm pretty sure they sell it for $9 a piece. And that's actually not that bad, you know, because you didn't have to, I didn't have to pay shipping and handling. So, you know, pretty cool. Let's go through the soap specs. Three times bigger than dainty bar soaps. Triple milled for superior quality. Made in USA, not France, not for clowns. That's trademarked, by the way. A portion of proceeds benefits U.S. veterans. That's one thing I gotta give it to uh, Duke Cannon because they all, you know, all their products. Uh, and when you buy them, they give a, a portion of the money to. Uh, to a certain cause. Not really sure what it is because all it says. Man, I'm sure it says it on their website. So, you know, check it out. If uh, if I'm wrong, let me know. But uh, as far as I can tell, it just says a portion of proceeds benefits U.S. veterans. So that's, that could mean anything. Made in USA. Not too much is made in the old USA anymore. Duke Cannon is 90 miles from Key West. Duke Cannon has a zeal for making the most of life, both in vocation and leisure time, always desiring to be surrounded by good company and close to the action. Man in the arena experiencing fur... Excuse me? Okay. Let me, re let me redo that one. Always desiring to be surrounded by good company and close to the action man in the arena. Experiencing firsthand what all five senses have to offer. This product is intended to celebrate this remarkable spirit through the invigorating scent combination of citrus musk, cedar wood, and island spices. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, now, I'm not exactly sure what island spices are because, uh, I mean... If paprika is on an island, is that an island spice? You get what I'm saying? That, uh, I don't know. Island spices. When you say island spices, for some reason I'm thinking of friggin' pineapple and mango and shit. But those are fruits. Those aren't spices. So, I, I don't know. Uh, that's just... When you put island in front of something, that's a, it just immediately what I think. Um... But as far as like a bar of soap goes in, in the Duke Cannon lineup, I will say that, you know, the um, the packaging is kept to a minimum. It's not real flashy. It's basic kind of. Uh, Bay Rum, you know, it tells you everything you need to know right there on the front. So that's pretty cool. Massive 10 ounce brick. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and uh, ruin this box just a little bit more. Not that big of a deal, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. So, here we go. This is stock number 51. Who wants to take a bet and see what the stock number printed on the bar is? Is it number 5? It is. Stock number 5. So, um, we have this orangish, brownish, tannish shade of brick of clay. It literally feels like every other Duke Cannon bar soap. There's no difference in the texture, the, the you know, the kind of, like, very faint feel of, of, like, a wetness, but not wet, if that makes any sense. Now, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about as, as I kind of move the bar around. You can see kind of, like, little moisture spots, and you can see it kind of reflecting. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. You know, it's kind of not wet, but wet. All Duke Cannon, and not to be racist towards Duke Cannon, but no joke, all Duke Cannon bars of soap, they all look the same as far as, you know, the texture, the, the, the appeal, and, or not the appeal, but the appearance. Uh, they're cut pretty much identical, so there's no difference in any of them. Except the scent in color. But let's skip all of that bull crap and let's talk about the smell, okay? So let me do it. Here we go. Oh, 
man, really? It's not as potent as I would like it to be for a, a Bay Rum soap. It's still very noticeable and very different. It, it's definitely a whole lot different than any kind of like Bay Rum from like Dr. Squatch or other brands. Uh, 360 Feel, they have a, a like a, a, a version, their own version of that, and it's entirely different. This is on another level. Uh, probably because of the cedar wood scent, uh, you know, the cedar wood scent, it's, it's probably kind of clashing with it and just, you know, really separating this bay rum to the other bay rum, whatever, island, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So, I'm trying to, I'm trying to really hammer down this scent, but it's so different. It kind of smells like a like a fruity cocktail of some sort, you know? With a little bit of coconut. Like some damn tanning lotion or some shit. It doesn't smell bad, but uh, this isn't one that I would necessarily just, you know, be like, I have to have that, please. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I can get. I mean, just a fruity cocktail with, a, with some sun tanning lotion. And maybe the faintest, like 1% cedarwood scent. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go over everything we've learned. Damn. This thing sucks. This box sucks. They've ruined it, guys. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. A box is a box is a box. Um, packaging, I'm going to go for a 5 out of 10 just because it's ugly. And a bar of soap, doesn't. I, it doesn't always need its own box. Like, I mean, it can be kind of like my favorite bars of soaps are the ones that, you know, somebody just slapped a paper label to. Those are always my favorite because, number one, they're made with love, and number two, uh, it's easier to recycle and, um, you know, to, to get rid of. Now, and I know this, it, it's... I will recycle this at some point. However, let's be real... Uh, not a lot of people have access to recycling facilities, so they more than likely will end up in the trash. So, you know, less packaging, the better. That's just me, though. Uh, five out of ten cent. Five out of ten, just because it's not necessarily a, a bay rum that, you know, I would typically smell. It's not terrible, but it's really not that good. And the only thing that saved it from being less than a five is the cedar wood scent. That like 1% of cedar wood that I smelled. Um, value, I'll give that a 9 out of 10. So, you know, if anything, uh, it's a good value. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys, and uh, I hope... That you enjoyed this video if you did like i said at the very beginning of the video go ahead and beat up that subscribe button and uh hit the like button really helps me out and keeps me going i'm also looking for a microphone to use with my iphone to record videos with because my speakers and, and, and microphones are terrible. So I'm looking for like a plug and play microphone. Uh, if you can help me out, I'm going to look now after I record this and uh, see if I can't find anything. But leave me some suggestions. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll kiss your mother another day.